All right, yeah, Captain awesome. Rob on the Monk with the owner, Steve. And we're going into the engine compartment. So Steve, what can you tell me about, you know, first we'll start here with the generator. You had it started? I had it started. And you said there was what? You, you had, you know, it wasn't started for a little bit, but. One season, but it started right up once we put the new batteries in. Oh, so it was really a new battery for yeah, the most part? Battery, yeah. Started right up. And nothing else needed to be done though? Nope. Nope. I know. Okay. The engine's perfect, running like a kitten. She's great. What size uh, Perkins? 135. And really nothing had to be done with nothing, it? Nothing. Nothing. The mechanic was here, thumbs up, everything. He started everything. Made but sure they don't know when the last time, like, say, the water pump was replaced? I don't know. My father has the records. He has all the he has yeah. records. Yeah, my father has records of everything. Wow, there's a lot of room back here. It's amazing. Easy to work on. Hello. And here to the starboard side. Water pump. Batteries. All right, taking uh, some photos of uh, Perkins' engine. And then we're in the back by the transmission. Shafts. Motor mounts. For an older boat, there's really no signs of rust. Looks good. All right, back by the water heater. Pump. Batteries, when did you get the batteries? They're about two months old now. Two months brand old, new. brand new. You know the size of the MR generator? Uh, 4K, I believe. 6K? 4, 4K. We'll check it. All right, so it's a Kohler power system. What's that? It's a Kohler power system, like uh, the actual here. And uh, the block, the MR. And both uh, on the generator and the main engines, full records are kept by the marina, and the oil's changed every year. And uh, just the only reason the boat's not being used is just due to, you know, health issues, and the family lives far, far away, and they can only get here, like, uh, once uh, every other month or so. But it's uh, a great marina, very private, very secure, and a great place to visit. Yeah. Yeah, bat these are the battery boxes for the main engines, as you can see. Do you want to um, use uh, to, to start water now with it or no? no, no, no okay, okay, no, okay. No, okay. No, okay. No, okay. No, okay. No, All right, I got the guy in there now. He's underneath. Okay. Oh, okay. Okay. All right, no problem. All right, now we're signing off from the engine room. Okay. Everything looks great. All right, Captain Rob on the Monk, on the bow, with the nice windlass. And the teak is in good shape. It just uh, needs to be uh, varnished, if that's the look you're going for. And I was talking to someone yesterday, he goes, yep, we want to make it look really, really good. You know, getting it sanded, it's gonna take about five coats of varnish. He was on his fourth last night when I was talking to him. And we're just coming back outside from, you know, working on the engines and uh, everything there for the age of the boat. You know, no rust and really just uh, a nice good waxing and like I said, just the detailed woodwork.
And this is the entrance to the cabin, the salon. And then there's that, uh, which is great. There's uh, both on the uh, port and starboard side. Aft cabin window, aft cabin deck, mast. Covers, bimini, top, back around, forward. Going towards uh, transom. Which is nice about, you have a nice swim platform out back too. And Steve, you said this, uh, it's very easy to handle with the, uh, and docking with the bow thruster the bow that was, thruster work. was that put, was that put in originally or My that was, that, put, your so father put it in? Yeah. So it's been in maybe since probably 93, maybe 95 in that area. He, he was, when did he buy it? He's not the original owner, is he? Second. Second owner? This is only two owner boat. The guy in Fort Lauderdale sold it to him and I'm going to say like 93-ish in that area. I don't know the exact dates. Wow, looks it great. came up from Fort Lauderdale. Yep, yep. Awesome, awesome, awesome. And we're going to go and take some video back of the hull and underneath. All right, in the main uh, salon, galley, and the woodwork in here is perfect. Yeah, it's the only word I could go and use for it. Amazing. Uh, a great boat. Um, the space inside is um, very, very spacious for a 36. And uh, the woodworking throughout is awesome. I'm gonna try to go and take actually above and look at all the detail on the handrails. All, all brass fixtures throughout. And then we're walking towards the, uh, the aft cabin. And before I go in, this the refrigerator is basically just a few years old, according to the son, Steve. And now we're proceeding down. Look at the uh, flooring. Everything is perfect. And we're signing off on our final video clip from the Monk 36. I'll probably take one more and from the outside, but it's kind of hard to get a few uh, a profile because we have two sailing vessels next to us. All right, I forgot. I have to go and take a, a video clip uh, going out from the aft cabin. And as you can see, there is a steering home station underneath which is great and then one up above and I believe I have other photos from prior so these uh, I have photos back from like I would say late May as well before uh, the monk was actually all cleaned up and now it looks great except for just uh, like I said earlier just getting the you know the teak work outside revarnished all right Captain Rob with our final video outside of uh, the 36 foot monk Shabin. Looks great. Uh, it's hard for me to get uh, a good profile because on either side we have two nice uh, sailboats, which I'll try to go and take a little bit more a little bit later. It's smoking a little bit, but that's all right.
don't think it's been started. It started like in half a turn. It's smoking a little bit, but it hasn't been started since I would say uh, beginning of June. And it's a Perkins 135. Single, single screw. Nothing like diesel on a 98 degree day, right? Now it's uh, brought down to uh, idle. I mean, the engine hasn't even been run in three minutes yet. So it's not gonna be fully warm for about, a, you know, another 20 minutes, but more important things to do and take more great photos over here in Staten Island. And uh, Captain Rob signing off for the third time today from the 36-foot monk. Have a great day.